this is Sabrina, lead trainer for The Balan Method, and I am going to be showing you um, the different options that you can do with configuring a rich snippet. Um, now, if you're not familiar with rich snippets, rich snippets are um, basically markups on your website that um, can potentially help. Uh, we, we are still studying all the details on this one, but it can still potentially help you rank in what's called the the spot zero position on Google. Um, let me see if I can pull one up here. Um, I think this was one that <laughs> that pops up. Um, so if you take a look here, I typed in how to feed a dog um, and this little information box appeared at the top of the page. This is above ads, above the people also ask section, and this here is your featured rich snippet. Now, if you um, fill out your schema markup, um, it can add a couple different other things. Like if you look at this how to feed a dog with pictures, it has a star rating on there. That's another thing that can pop up with um, the all-in-one schema option there. Now, um, this is great because obviously it puts your blog post right up at the top. Now, we have seen that this tends to happen if you're already ranking in the first few positions on Google. So, um, so you want to get here first and then this rich snippet could potentially appear. Now, Google basically takes what that person is asking and it can pull information from your blog post that um, answers that question. It can take... Um, a, your table of contents, it can take a bullet pointed list. It's basically searching your blog for the valuable information that answers that person's question and puts it right here um, with a link to your blog post. So on your, um, your blogs, there's going to be a few different ways that you can mark this up based on what your content is. So um, the plugin that you can download is All in One Schema, S C H E M A. And once you install that, um, at the bottom of your blog posts and pages and um, like testimonial pages, you should see this configure rich snippet option. Now, if we click this drop down, you can see there's a few different options available. This is where you're going to select things based off of what it is that you're marking up. So if you are marking up a testimonial page and you click on item review, you can put in the reviewer's name, um, item to be reviewed, whatever they're reviewing. So they could be reviewing um, the team. Um, they could be reviewing um, a specific property. They could be reviewing a team member. Um, Okay, um, then you want to give it a five star rating. And that is pretty much it for the, for the uh, review option. Um, now you can have an event on here. So if you're, um, this would probably be actually be really good for uh, open houses, um, if you're having a community event, if you're having a charity event, pretty much any, any kind of event that you're doing. So you have the event title, the location, the description, start date, end date. If there's a ticket price, you can put the ticket price and the currency in here, and then a URL for the uh, purchase page. Um, people, we haven't personally had to use people, but let's say on your website, if you have pages about um, a specific agent on your team or anything like that, then the people one may be good for that. Um, product is what we actually use for our um, homes for sale pages. So you wanna give yourself a five star rating always because we're all worth five stars. Um, your brand name. The product name. So typically the product name, we make it whatever that page is called. So if it's homes for sale in Summerlin with a pool, um, and we can do that. Um, product image, whatever image you want to pop in there. The product price, we usually put whatever the minimum price is that you're displaying on that page. So if your home's for sale in Summerlin with a pool page only shows um, a minimum price of $300,000, then we want to put that here. Currency is US dollar. And then availability, 
Um, you should always mark that as in stock because typically these pages have widgets of homes for sale, um, which almost always has houses on there, unless it's a very, um, very, very specific page. Um, but still, you always want to have it in stock because you always have properties in stock in some way or another. Okay. Um, so that's it for the product. Uh, recipe, we haven't personally had to mess with um, in our industries with real estate and our marketing company, but um, you may come across having to use this at some point, so it is an option you have in there. Um, same thing with software application. Um, it's not something that we've had to use in our real estate company, but we may actually be playing with this more with our marketing company. And again, it's, it's very um, simple to fill out software rating, the price of the software, um, the currency of that price, software name, what operating systems it's compatible with. Um, I don't think you have to fill out all of these. Um, so if you don't want to fill out operating system, I don't think you have to. Um, what category it typically falls under, a software image and the landing page um, for that software. Um, you've got a video markup. So if your page is literally just a video, um, then you can do a rich snippet video markup there. Article is what we use for our blog posts. So um, article image, I typically make this the same as the featured image I use on the blog post. The article name is basically the same title of your blog post that you put up top there. Now the description, I typically optimize my um, SEO Yoast meta description because it is length specific. And then once I put that in there, I'll usually copy that description and pop it in here. Um, the author is going to be your name. The publisher organization is going to be your company, team, or business name. And then you can pop your logo in here. If you don't have a logo, you could put a picture of yourself. And then service. So we are still playing with this one. Um, we are thinking that this may be a good, uh, a good opportunity for home valuation pages because home valuation doesn't really fall under, under a product necessarily because product is what you're trying to sell and, um, and with the home valuation, they're trying to sell you something. So you're offering a service by providing them with that home value offer. So um, the image you can pop in here, service type, I would probably do instant home value estimator. Um, in the instant home value estimator for an actual instant home value, we use a tool called listings to leads, um, which is a really great tool. If you hop over to lauristools.com, um, you'll be able to find the link there. Um, I'll also make sure I have the link in the description below. Um, Service served area. So this could probably be um, what area you are looking for homes for sale in. Um, so for us, it would be Las Vegas. Um, short description, again, you can do the same thing here because um, if you're doing this on a home value page, your meta description will want to fit the home value description. So you can put that here. Provider name can be um, your name or your company name. Um, location would be your company information um, for that home value. I don't think you'll have to fill that out for, for this one. Um, so if you don't want to, you, I don't think you have to. Uh, provider location image, um, your telephone number in case they wanna reach out to you. And then if you want to enable a rating option on there where they can rate uh, it five stars or not, you can enable or disable that here. And that is it here for the rich snippet configuration options. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team at team at um, We do also run a marketing company. So if you would like um, any help with creating blog posts, creating a website for you to have blog posts on or anything like that, you can always reach us at that same email or visit balanbrands.com for more details. You can also learn more information like this one on how to do your own online marketing at lauriballen.com. See you guys later.